I Ninja. Lock and load. Injection for corneal infection. Here's all our cases of antibiotic injection for bacterial keratitis over eight years. <laughs> Nothing gets me madder than bacteria eating a cornea. Uh, funny you should say that. So we've got a girl had her PK sutures removed about two weeks ago without any antibiotics given prior by another doctor. After 10 days of progressive pain, she finally comes in. Look. Hypopian. No epi defect. Is that an ulcer? It's just some white blood cells sticking to the endothelium. That suture must have been full thickness and rotated bacteria in. It's endophthalmitis. Let's tap and inject. Fortified vank and tobra drops. Done. The That's hypopion it. was breaking up. Whee! Infection clearing. Yeah. <laughs> but two days later... Dr. Tinkman. Yeah? That endophthalmitis? It's back. See? The hypopion is twice as large as it was. The culture shows MRSA, and there's a stromal infiltrate now, but no epi defect. It's coming from the endothelial surface? She's worsening on vancomycin drops. We can keep on injecting the AC, but that stromal infection is just gonna keep on reseeding. What are we gonna do? Out of my way. Too deep for drops to penetrate, huh? I'll show him. Two days later, the hypopian is breaking up, so steroids are started. At one week, the edema and rejection are gone, and only a scar remains. The transplant is saved. You were a perfect patient. Everything went great. We'll see you out front in just a little bit. Dr. Tinkman, I have a PK patient with RA. He's had pain for the last 10 days. He now has an ulcer at the graft host junction that's perforated. With the iris plugging the hole, flat chamber, pressure four, he's gonna need another transplant. His immune system's already angry. We're withholding steroids. This eye's going to erupt. Five o'clock on a Friday, nightmare transplant. We'll see about that. The antibiotic hydrated the stromal tissue shut so that it stopped leaking and deepened the chamber. In five days, epi healed, we reduced antibiotic, and started steroid. The transplant was saved. This pathologic eye rubber had a perforated ulcer, flat chamber, with the iris plugging the hole. We sealed the leak with Vank and Ceftaz, deepened the chamber, broke the iris adhesion, and the next day his pressure was 13 with no leak. In three weeks, his uncorrected vision was 2040. Look at this ulcer, grade three flat AC. Briskly leaking ulcers may not completely seal at first. This ulcer couldn't be sealed completely, so this set of injections only slowed the leak. The chamber only deepened slightly. Patience. In a matter of days, the leak stopped completely. He avoided a cornea transplant and saw 2040 with an RGP. Just one of our smaller ulcers failed to re-epithelialize in a week, broke down, and needed a mini PK like this. So for big ones, inject consecutive days And because epi can't grow over mushy necrotic stroma, pull a flap over. The retracting flap will stick to bare stroma, making an iatrogenic pterygium over the dead ulcer. Yeah, gonna need a lot of ammo. It's been leaking from that thin ridge. I think round one got it. Well, as a formality. Flaps promote healing. He's 2040, despite four plus PCO, and we haven't removed the flap yet. Dr. Kingman, we need you right away. We have another perforated ulcer, and it's a big one. So, another perforated ulcer? Tell me about it. She had shingles, on the left. Whoa, let's see the cornea. The ulcer covers almost the entire cornea, 
And it involves a Limbus from four o'clock to eight o'clock. Lock and load, Alex. You're gonna need more than injections on this one. You don't say. Unfortunately, the infection was too big for the hospital's largest tree fine blade. We knew we had an infected, friable inferior rim. So we inject the inferior rim. All of it. Infection did not return. Day five, start steroids. Week two, off fortifieds. And it's been the same for all eight PKs we've injected for infected rims. Some have really been incredible. Dr. Do you remember that K-Pro Gunderson flap case that took forever to get his A1C down from 16 to 7? Leg amputation, TRD's OU? Yeah. Blind OD? But after PPV SO film, OS fell from 2070 to 2200. So he left for five years. Then his corneas looked like this. Probably severe ischemia. Somehow, you agreed to do a PK in tarsorophy, and he saw 2150 for just two days. But bad nerves and rubbing led to a massive perforated ulcer, which was cured by emergent repeat PK with rim injection. But then he had another perforated ulcer, which he came in on vacation for a K-Pro with rim injection Glaucoma tube and Gunderson flap, which made him stable? Sure, Alex. How could I forget? Well, two months later, you opened the center of the flap and it reinfected weeks later. So you did a repeat emergent K Pro on another vacation day with a new Gunderson flap and you were going to keep it in place even longer. Then he had a pressure spike, severe, from a contracted AC, and you had to open the flap so Retina could see to remove the oil so that you could reposition the tube into the pars plana and then reclose the flap. Well, it's been two years and you just reopened the flap, which looks great. But he had a five plus retroprosthetic membrane, which you removed last week and now he's seeing- That's all the time we have today, Alex. To find out what happens next, tune in next time on- Are you okay, Dr. Teacher? He's 2060. Got no